Now, this is the most neglected area to my in my experience, right? So we all get very, you know, uh, uh, hyped in terms of creating the script and running them and seeing that green and the red results in whatever reporting tool that we leverage. But then in most cases, uh, the tests that fail, you know, they are not uh, given much attention. We are very happy 90% pass percentage, 98% pass percentage. But let's take an example that we are running a regression suite comprising of over 10,000 automated tests, which is very normal for a legacy code base, uh, primarily an ERP kind of a application, enterprise application. And 5% of the automation test fail, which means 95% is the pass percentage, which means that 500 test cases which have failed have to be analyzed uh, and run manually, right? To rule out their uh, uh, cases of false positives and false negatives, right? This becomes a tedious manual exercise and in most cases are neglected and it leads to defects in in production. People think, okay, 90% has passed, this 5% is fine, but then those has to be done, right? So we can leverage AI easily to create a classification algorithm, which is a very standard AI approach so that it can classify the failures into what are the valid failures and what are the invalid failures? What are the failures which has happened because of a product defect? And what are the failures which has happened due to a product behavior change? Or what are the failures which has happened due to a flaky script or due to an environment configuration, right? So if I can use a bucketizer to bucket this into, or a classifier to classify this into multiple buckets, and AI can easily do the classifier, and I don't have to spend any manual effort in analysis, automatically for the genuine failures, the bugs can be logged in whatever bug management system or defect management system we are using. So basically we have saved the entire time on analysis and we can you know, probably invest that somewhere more meaningful. So that's where AI can play an uh, important role in the analysis of the failure and it can completely take the manual effort that I would say probably 95% of the organizations out there are right now analyzing manually, right, as we speak. 